All right, back for pack number three, and uh, I already see some nice Golgari options for us here. There's a uh, Stonefair Crocodile, which is awesome in Golgari. Um, a launch party, which is nice with all these scavenge guys, even though we uh, we have a little bit of a limited look right now at the scavenge, only like two cards, I think. Um, Pithing Needle is okay, but not unlimited so much. Pretty much if you're just having problems with uh, the guild mages or if someone pulls a Jace or something. Uh, I could also go Dagger Drone in, which works well with, uh, with Scavenge, but I think Launch Party is just the, the way to go here. Good removal, um, and it helps feed our Gerard if we get him out. So let's try to get a couple more uh, Scavenge guys. Alright, well, we see another Launch Party, but I think Slum Reaper is the pick now. Um, it does help feed our Graveyard, like I said. Even though it's better if you have a bunch of low drop guys that you don't mind getting rid of, like Drudge Beetles and whatnot, which we do not really have right now. Um, but yeah, there's not nothing really in this pack for us other than that besides Rubbleback Rhino, which I'm not a big fan of. I think it's better in uh, decks that have a lot of way to pump. Like We don't have a ton of Scavenge, which works well with it, generally. And uh, we are also moved out of Selesnya, so we don't have access to like uh, Knightly Valor and... Uh, stuff like that that doesn't create two for one opportunities because of the hex proof, so I'll just take a Slum Reaper. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a Grim Roustabout, which is decent. Uh, another Eyes in the Skies I'm not taking. Could splash Courses of Cord. We're already splashing another white card. Although I've yet to see any more uh, Slesney Guild Gates, which would be nice. We could just play some planes for the Gate Creeper Vine, but I'd rather not. Um, I'm not going to take Knightly Valor over this. Um, not a whole lot here for us, I guess, except for Grim Roustabout, so yeah. Could have also taken Towering Indrick there, but uh, we already have a lot of uh, four drops to work with. Uh, ooh, now here are some options. We have uh, Rites of Reaping. Uh, Golgari Charm is okay. It's more of a sideboard card. Trestle Troll and Underworld Connections. Hmm. I'm not sure which is better between these two. I mean, our removal is not looking too bad. We've got Abrupt Decay, uh, Launch Party, Course of Might can create uh, profitable blocking, Tristani's Judgment. Um, so I think I'm just going to take the Underworld Connections here, actually. Even though Rites of Reaping is pretty nice in a Golgari deck. But since we're more of a mid rangey deck and we want to just survive to the late turns, I think that's what we want. Um, Alright. I think I'm going to take an Axebane Guardian here over the Grizzly Salvage. Just because this guy is really important for mana fixing and uh, ramping up to this big stuff that we want to cast. Um, I guess Dead Reveler is the best card here. Could take a third Centaur's Herald, but I don't know how good our turn one mana is going to look for the green. So, uh, because it looks like we're pretty heavily black. We've got like double black, double black. Double black, possibly double black, and then a bunch of low drop black stuff, so I think we're a little more heavy on black than green. Um, and we don't have a ton of ways to populate right now, so I'd rather just have something that I can sack to launch party and slum reaper to feed my uh, Gerard. Um, Alright, so I guess we go Shred Freak, another Roustabout. Pretty clearly the Roustabout, just because uh, better mana. Ooh, um, I think we go Grizzly Salvage here. Better than Axebane Stag. Helps with fixing. Feeds Gerard. Seems pretty good in this deck. And it uh, combos fairly well with Treasured Find as well. Uh, we get Stonefair Crocodile back, so I'll happily take that. We're already looking like we have way more playables than we need. Um, so yeah, it's possible I just don't play this Tristani's Judgment and make my mana considerably better. Um, I'm not sure what our removal looks like quite yet, but uh, when I lay it out, we'll get a better idea of it. Um, I could see playing Rubbleback Rhino. I'll consider it. Mind Rot's a sideboard card anyway. I'd rather have another option for the main board if I can. Um, so if I was going to try to cut things right now, I'd probably start with uh, Slesnia Key Rune is on the chopping block. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen since we're splashing white. Um... I like all these. Course of Might is possible cut. Um, hmm. Let's see. And possibly the Centaur's Herald as well. 
Um, let's see. Could splash courses accord? Seems decent. Or I could Druid's Deliverance and populate only these two. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's a fine card. Uh, Golgari Charm for the sideboard, excellent. We might be the only Golgari deck in this draft, which is nice. <clears throat> Ooh, and a Perilous Shadow last pick. This is going to be uh, a little difficult to cut, but uh, we shall figure it out shortly. Alright, well we have a lot of good creatures. I'm going to have to cut some of them because, as you can see here, we have 20 creatures, but actually that number is a bit higher because of the uh, Courses Accord and the Horn Collars Chant. Um, also, there's the issue of white. I'm trying to figure out if I need it. Because removal-wise, we have Launch Party, Aerial Predation, Abrupt Decay, plus Treasure trying to get some of these back. Uh, and the Slum Reaper, which is worth mentioning, although it could come out against Selesnia decks. Um, so I think we're just going to cut some of these big creatures. Um, I like Terra Swarm a little bit better than Max Bane Stag in this deck. Um, I guess we'll cut the high drop uh, token producers because they're not very synergistic with this deck. Um, could also go with the Centaur's Heralds because um, again they don't combo with anything except Tristani's Judgment. Um, and it, I feel like we have better stuff to do in the mid game than the early game. But I'm not sure. Because uh, let's go by color quickly. Um, yeah, we're quite a bit more heavy on black than green. So uh, I think I'm just going to cut these, go a little bit heavier on black, like maybe 9-8. Um, then there's the issue of the Trostani's Judgment. Um, I mean, it, it is a removal spell, but it's best when you have the Populate, which we just uh, removed completely from our deck, so it's possible that that goes too. Which means we'd need to cut one other card. 17 creatures is a good number, I think. Um, Sort these again really quick. These come out. Uh, possibly the Chorus of Might, now that I think about it, because all these are just like efficient creatures. It's really only going to be hitting for like two or three. Um, yeah, I think we cut that. We're left with 17 creatures, which is fine. And uh, I'm considering this Rumbleback Rhino as well to be cut because uh, we currently have nothing really to uh, to combo with it except the Sluisway Scorpion and that's about it and the Terrace Worm I guess but that's like really late game. I mean it's it's fine but um, I think I'd rather have a removal spell than another creature when we got so many already. But uh, it could be wrong. Um, let's see what our mana would look like here. I'm thinking like, whoops, suggest. Nine swamp, seven forest, one plains. I don't think that's right. Um, would one plains even be enough? We only have the one white. We do have an Axeman Guardian and a Gate Creeper Vine. So, uh, I think that should actually be fine. We go nine, seven, one. Uh, let's go by color again. One white. Double black, we have Gerard and the Long Legs, but these don't really count. But we do have the Perilous Shadows. So uh, I think this might be correct. I'm just wondering if Seven Forest is enough to get out the turn 2 Gatekeeper Vine or turn 3 Axeman Guardian. Plus all these uh, turn 2 plays. I guess Treasure Vine isn't really a turn 2 play, but <clears throat> these two. Plus, uh, I mean, Deathrite Shaman shouldn't be too hard if it's in our opening hand. Um, let's go back to converted mana cost, pull out my removal just to double check. Abrupt Decay. Come on down. Well, this needs to, uh... Alright, stand by. Try to shrink these columns a little bit. Abrupt Decay comes down. Aerial Predation. Launch Party. Tristani's Judgment. Um, Alright, I think I'm just going to sideboard Aerial Predation, bring in Robobike Rhino, and keep the white, and uh, submit this as is, and call it a day. And we'll be back for round one.